of the International Secret Police. Zero. 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 Carlo through the Atlantean expedition to keep an eye on things, Speed and Clint fly on to Regan to fill up the enormous gasoline tanks in their plane and give it a final checkover before their long flight to Kano. Meantime, the octopus, with forged credentials, lands in Kano, introduces himself as a member of the secret police, and asks for an audience with the emir, powerful ruler of the city. We find the two together now. I am honored to entertain a member of your so wonderful secret police, sir. Even here, in Kano, we know of your good work. Thank you. And we have heard a great deal about you, the emir of Kano. What have you heard? That you have a high regard for law and order. I try to live according to the teachings of our holy book, the Koran. I have no love for crime, no criminals. And I understand that the British resident here interferes little with your justice. All British authorities, including the governor, have great confidence in me as I have in them. Kano is my city, to rule as I please, so long as I rule well. Then you would not care to have uh, desperate criminals invade your territory, eh? Certainly not. What do you mean? I have information that two such criminals are coming to Kano, planning to cause a revolt so that they may rob you of your jewels during the confusion. When do you expect them? Describe them to me so that I may deal with them accordingly. Uh, They will announce themselves as the secret police. One as Clint Barlow, the other a boy as Speed Gibson. Barlow? But you are Barlow. You have shown me your credentials. But would you have known that had I not reached you before they did? They have forged credentials and are excellent actors. It will be hard to believe that they are not what they claim to be. But be warned. If you value your city's peace, your very life, take steps to destroy these two men. See that they never fly from Kano. Fly? They will come in a plane as well? Yes. You say one is a mere youth? Yes. The older man who claims to be Barlow uses this boy to avert suspicion. Unspeakable. What a monster he must be. Then you will cooperate with the secret police? You will imprison these two criminals? Most certainly. And uh, destroy them? If they are found guilty at their trial, yes. Trial? You will give them a trial? All criminals have the opportunity of proving themselves innocent. In Kano, Mr. Barlow. Even though a member of the secret police swears them to be guilty? You will have that opportunity at the trial. But I will not be there. I must leave here immediately. Leave? You have something more important? Uh, Not to me, no, but to my superiors. We of the secret police must obey orders. I came here to warn you of your danger. Now that I have done that, I must leave. You must deal with that danger as you see fit. If you are too lenient, you will suffer the consequences. I appreciate your warning, Mr. Barlow, and your counsel. As for my safety, have no fear of that. I am well protected. These criminals are foolish to think they could cause a revolt in Kano. My people are happy. I know that. But it is well to know where your enemies are and then destroy them. Agreed. If they are truly enemies. Never fear. I shall issue orders immediately to my guards to be ready for these criminals who falsely call themselves the secret police. 
Well, it's been a long time since we took off from the gun, Clint. Should be reaching Connell pretty soon, huh? Yes, Vin. Have you noticed anything unusual about the country we're flying over? To tell the truth, I haven't been paying much attention to it. You see one sand dune and you've seen them all. <laughs> That's true, but take a look ahead now. What? Why, gosh, Clint, I actually see some green bushes. Yes, Pete, we've left these Sahara sand dunes. I was going to tell you a while ago, but you were so lost in that map, I didn't want to disturb you. I was studying the route between Connell and Leopoldville, Clint. But gosh, why look a map when there's a real thing right below. Look at those animals down there. What are they? Oh, uh, they're gazelles, judging by their speed. Take a look through the glasses. Okay. Yep, they're gazelles, all right. Boy, just look at them go. <laughs> and look further ahead. There are some nomads tending their flock. Yeah, we're nearing civilization, all right, and I, for one, am darn glad of it. This emir of Kano should prove a big help to us. That's what Commandant Ricard said. You've got that letter he gave you, haven't you? Yes. I sure hope the emir lives in a cool palace. It seems to be getting hotter instead of cooler. Oh, it seems that way because the humidity rises as we penetrate further into the interior of Africa. The jungle heat will be stifling. Yeah, well, I wouldn't miss all this for the world, Clint. If the octopus had to bob up again, I'm sure glad he picked Africa. I've always wanted to see the place. Well, you certainly find Kano interesting, Speed. Commodore Ricard told me a great deal about it before we left Kurembishar. Kano is the capital of the province of the same name, which forms a part of northern Nigeria. We're flying over in Nigeria now, as a matter of fact. Gosh, is it a big city, Clint? For this part of the country, yes. Yeah, some 50,000 inhabitants, I believe. The largest native town in Africa. Do Arabs live there? Few, perhaps. But the inhabitants of Kano are largely Negroes, or the Hossa, and a smaller number of Fulani. Fulani? What are they? A Mohammedan tribe of obscure origin, so Commandant Ricard told me. It seems they easily conquered the Hossa in the Holy Wars a hundred years ago. <laughs> and they've ruled the roost ever since. Then the Emir must be a Fulani. Yes, they're an intelligent and progressive people, Steve. I'm looking forward to meeting their leader. Me too. Say, is that Kano ahead, Clint? Looks like a big city, and I've seen more and more people heading for it. According to our maps, that should be Kano, all right. Oh, uh, get Carlos on the short wave set and let him know we're in sight of it, will you? Okay. I'll let it warm up for a minute. How long are you going to stay in Kano, Clint? Well, only as long as it takes to learn whatever we need from the Emir and obtain his promise of cooperation speed. I'm very anxious to reach Leopoldville. I have a strong hunch that we'll either find the Oxford's headquarters there or some trace of Buchanan. You see, he's the key man of this Atlantean mystery. If we'd only find him, I think the whole house of cards would topple. Yeah. Well, guess the set's hot now. ISP Flight Station 1 calling portable set ISP 2. ISP Flight Station 1 calling portable set ISP 2. Standing by. Come in, please. Sure hope Carlos has his set on. And he should have. I told him we'd call him as soon as we sighted Connell. And he knows how long it's taken us to reach him. Oh, well, here he comes. ISP 2 returning call, ISP 1, standing five for two-way. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Speed. How are things going? Swell. We've sighted Connell. Should land there in a few minutes. Oh, the wind. Oh, I would know. I knew I would hear from you soon, but I could hardly get away from Mickey O'Brien to open my set for you. <laughs> that young man sticks to me like a brother. Ask him if he's seen anything suspicious yet. Clint wants to know if you spotted anything phony yet, Carlos. Not yet, but it's too short, Speed. I'm watching everything closely. So far, the only one I suspect is the radio operator. Vicky was right in not trusting him. But then, being untrustworthy does not necessarily make him a member of the octopus band. Hear that, Clint? Uh, yes. Tell him to hide a microphone in the control room if he possibly can. He has an extra crystal mic along. If he can do that, he'll have a way of checking all incoming and outgoing calls. Speed! Speed! Are you still there? Yeah, Carlos. Clint was talking to me. Listen... He wants you to hide that extra crystal microphone you have along in the Atlantean control room and connect it with your quarters so you can check all incoming and outgoing calls. Got that? See, I have it. But doing it is another thing. But I will try, though. My quarters are near the control room. I will try as soon as I can. Swell. Anything else, Clint? No, we'll talk to him again after we see the Emir. By that time, he should have some news for us. That's all for now, Carlos. We'll call you again after landing in Kano and seeing the Emir. Meantime, keep your eyes and ears open. Yes, he's speed. And for you, happy landing. Thanks. ISP-1 signing off. ISP-2 off. Well, everything's going smooth as silk so far, Clint. Maybe we're out of our run of bad luck, huh? <laughs> Say, don't say that or you'll bring it back. <laughs> oh, look. There's our landing field. Boy, it's a beauty. I'll say. Boy, the Amir must have some modern ideas. Look. 
There's another plane down there, Clint. Wonder whose it is. Not a government ship, that's certain. Well, we'll soon be down. We're going to land speed. Okay, everything's in order. And here we go. some guards or something. They're all in uniforms and white turbans. I'll taxi over to meet them. Here we are. Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> Let's pile out and stretch our legs, huh, Speed? I'll say. And for once, we don't have to go out with our guns in our hands, huh, Clint? We know the Emir here is friendly. That's right. And don't forget your sun helmet. I won't. Yeah, there you go. Gosh, those fellas are big. Bet they're all the way over six feet, Clint. And powerfully built. Incidentally, the Nigerians are noted for their fighting abilities, Speed. I'll bet. I sure hate to put on the gloves of one of those guards. Uh, oh. This must be the captain coming toward us now. What is your name and business? I have business with the Emir of Kano, personally. Will you please take us to him? I have the proper credentials. I'm Barlow of the International Secret Police. Barlow. Clint, what's going on? Why are they stationing guards around our plane? I don't know. Unless it's a matter of courtesy. Still, I don't like the looks of it. As soon as I mentioned my name, this man looked at me as if I was a criminal. Maybe it's just the way they have of doing things here, Clint. Maybe. I will soon find out. And I suppose this is Speed Gibson. Why, yes. How did you know? Did Commandant Ricard let you know we were coming? Ricard? That name was not mentioned. What's he talking about, Clint? I don't know, but I'm certainly going to find out. What's the meaning of this delay? Why have you stationed guards around our plane? Your plane has been confiscated, Mr. Barlow. What? And you and this boy are under arrest. What do you mean, arrest? What for? We haven't done anything. No, and we are going to make sure that you will do nothing. Will you come quietly, or must we use force? Why, you... Easy, easy, Speed. We'll come quietly, but we'll see your emir if it's the last thing we do. We've been framed. <laughs> Thank you.